Builds a country. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. Stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but... Hold on. Wait a minute. It's you! I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. Amada's message. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd keep that under your hat for her sake. She could get in real trouble if people found out she sent you a message. So could I, just for talking with you now. Let me bring you up to speed. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. When your dad opened up that gate, he let loose a whole lot of crap, if you'll pardon my language. I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. Regardless of how things turned out down here, he was a good friend. I always figured he'd do well outside. Matter of fact, a lot of folks started thinking he had the right idea. He usually did. So, if it was safe out there, why stay down here forever? Well, the Overseer didn't like that one bit and started cracking down on that sort of thought. Guess he didn't plan on you coming back. I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the Overseer, but frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you, now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. It's not that they want to leave. It's that they want to open the door and interact with the rest of the world. But that would risk the whole vault. 
Well, okay. Just be careful down here. The vault's changed, I tell you. You don't belong here anymore. That's it, old uh -oh. We're opening Wait here. that door. And to hell this with doesn't the overseer's look good. rules. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below before I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did to Brotch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, because we rule! Stay back! Holy Taylor, crap. stop! Don't you know enough to stay away? I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened. And all the chaos and fighting, her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. I tell you, I'm scared of them. I never know when they're going to try something dangerous. Yes, you do. Shooting, damn it! I guess you can see how bad things are down here. Sorry, where were we going? As chance would have it, she was one of the first people to talk about life outside the vault after you left. No surprise. She always did like you. I hope you can talk some sense into her. Or maybe the two of you can come up with some other plan. Just be careful about it. You've got a lot to answer for, kid. Bugs, fires, confusion, panic. What do you care? You and your dad started the whole mess. They don't know what they're doing, and it's up to us adults to keep them from getting everyone killed. Yes, you do. Amada's up there, in the clinic with the rest. Amada's up there, in the clinic with the rest of them. I'd take you closer, but they don't get along with security. Good luck. Damn, look who's come waltzing back into the vault. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. You gotta help us. What sort of help do you think I mean? You must have heard about the changes since you left, right? The deaths, the lies, the whole overseer lockdown thing? Ringing any bells? Man, they'd have rushed in here long ago if they didn't know I stole one of their guns from when they issued martial law. Anyway, you gotta help us get out of here. You gotta help me get out of here. Man, screw the entire vault. What about me? Even these rebels just want the option to go outside for lousy trading and stuff. I just want to get the hell out of here for good. Why stay here and be stuck as a barber for my entire life when I could go out there and make my own choices? The damned goat said I'm supposed to be a hairdresser, but that ain't me. I'm a barber, you got that? There's a difference. I'll start a gang, of course. Why, it'll be the toughest, coolest, badassest gang the Wasteland's ever seen. Hey, play your cards right, maybe I'll even let you join it, huh? Well, they ain't seen nothing like me yet. Butcher's gonna take that wasteland by storm. Because you've always been a goody two-shoes. So when I need help, it's what you're gonna do, right? You're gonna help Amada anyway, right? Just make it so we can leave the vault. And I'll leave and never bother you again. I heard old Stanley complaining a lot of the stuff down in the reactor got fried pretty bad. Nothing too bad, yet. But he's always worrying we'll lose air filtration or whatever. Of course, if that happened, 
Guess we'd all have to leave the vault then, huh? Catch you later. Maybe. You're alive! I hate that this whole thing has turned us against our families. But we just can't keep living down here forever. I mean, look at this place. A lot of security got wounded, and worse. In all the confusion, we still don't know who's responsible for some of them. Bye. Oh my god, you're back! You got my message and actually came back! Oh, thank you! Everything's gone crazy since you left, and now that you're back, you can help set things straight. I just wish we could have saved more people. Jonas and, and the Hannons and so many others died that night. It was bad enough they died because my father was trying to keep the door closed. But then, I found out it was all to protect a lie! I found out the vault wasn't always closed. They've lied to us about it for our entire lives! After that night, I heard Wally's father say we should never have taken you or your dad into the vault. I found out the vault used to be open, but for some reason, they closed it off when we were babies and swore to hide that it had ever happened. But keeping that lie meant Jonas's death. And even though we know the truth, the Overseer still won't let us make our own decisions. Are you honestly comparing, maybe we should look for help, with stay in an underground bunker all your life or I'll kill you? Obviously, I don't know what's out there, but it can't hurt to take a look, right? And all this time, we're living in a tiny world that's been falling apart for 200 years. If we don't take a chance out there, we're just going to die down here. But none of that can happen while my father's got the place locked down. Please, something has to be done. You know that better than anyone. I just don't know. Maybe he thinks he's protecting us, but all he's really doing is condemning us. I thought parents were supposed to want a better world for their children. Well, there's a new world waiting right outside that door. And we're not going to give up until we can reach it. The real problems came after you two left. The injured had nobody to turn to since our doctor had run off and his assistant had died. Now, we've got to rely on that old Mr. Handy for most of our medical needs, and he hasn't exactly got the best bedside manner. Ever had an examination from someone with cold, metal pincers? You don't want to! Don't you get it? We don't want to abandon the vault. We want to open it! We still want this to be our home, but we want to get supplies from outside. Trading, exploring, anything's better than just hiding down here. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. You will? Thank goodness for that. No matter what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. But you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Just please don't do anything rash or hurt him, alright? I should have remembered. I was just worried. I don't know, maybe your time outside had changed you. Thanks, and good luck talking to him. Let me know when you change his mind. Wow, you're back. I wouldn't call us rebels. I mean, we don't agree with the Overseer, but we still love the vault. We just want to try going outside, too. 
Mom and little Monica got caught in the fires. I tried to get them out. I really did. But it was just too hot. I know it wasn't your fault, but my dad doesn't think as highly of you. You wouldn't want to hear what he said he'd do to your dad, either. Bye. You've oh, it's good to see you're back from outside. It can be dangerous out there for someone your age. Oh, dear. We aren't asking for anything special. The vault's been open before, but for some reason, everyone tries to pretend it wasn't. I guess they try to forget the poor souls who never came back from out there. My poor grandson Jonas died is what happened. They say it was just an accident and all the confusion, but I know it was the overseer. Oh, please be careful. Good to see you. Good to see you. You've got to change the overseer's mind. Hey, good to see you again. I tell you, those guards are getting nastier every day. One of these days is going to turn real ugly. But I'll be ready for it. The overseer thinks he's in charge of us just because it's his job? Well, nuts to that. We do what we want, and we want to open the vault. Paul got bit real bad by some of those rad roaches, but he thought he could tough it out. If we'd had a doctor to treat him, he might still be here. Yeah, see you. Ah, another patient. What's it to be, eh? Appendectomy? Tonsillectomy? Hysterectomy? Ah, yes, a rather unfortunate incident. In all the commotion, Miss Beatrice suffered a rather bad sprain in her left toe. The big one. Obviously, I had no choice but to amputate the leg. Yeah, I'm sorry to say the operation was uh, not a uh, success. But of course, with your father's departure from the vault and Jonas's untimely demise, the overseer had to take swift action. <laughs> and so he named me the new vault medical practitioner. A marvelous decision, if I do say so myself. I am fully equipped, after all. Ah, oh, human problems for human heart. I don't trouble myself with such petty affairs. My work is my life. And, as you can see, I've been quite busy. Um, actually, uh, no. Uh, I'm afraid I've been, uh, what's the human term? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, fired. I've been reassigned to cleaning detail. My first duty is, somewhat ironically, cleaning the clinic. Ah, oh, but surgery was fun while it lasted. Of course, of course, don't let me keep you. You don't belong here anymore. Oh boy, are you in trouble. You should have seen my pop. He personally saved old Stanley. But guess you wouldn't know what it's like to have a hero for a dad, would you? What do you expect from idiots like them? I'm just glad I was done with Butch's stupid gang before they got involved in all this. Yes, you do. You're back again? They're a bunch of hellions, that's what they are. I'm at my wit's end about them. I really am. It's all kind of blurry for me, but I hear I owe you for saving me. But don't expect much. The whole thing was your dad's fault in the first place. Yes, you do. Can't you just leave us alone? Those kids are risking our entire vault just because they're bored. It's horrible. The bugs were horrible. 
but my family was pretty lucky. But then my Freddy went and got caught up with those idiot rebels. Yes, you do. Why won't you just leave us alone? You've done enough damage. You never should have left, kid. Now we'll make sure nobody ever leaves again. I don't know that I should be talking with you. It's just a phase they're going through. Every kid thinks they want to leave the vault at some point, but we all grew out of it. With all of the bugs and fires, there was an awful lot of strain on the systems down on the reactor level. Our water chip's pretty delicate right now, but I'm working on setting her right again. Yes, you do. It's been a while, kid. I guess the goat couldn't have predicted how you'd turn out, could it? Remind me to add a question about rescuing your teacher from the vault jail. If the vault ever goes back to normal, that is. By the way, while I was in there, I heard some worrying things from the guards. Most of them are just kids who are caught up in the idea of seeing the world. But I know we've got to actually open the vault if we want to survive. Otherwise, we're just going to dwindle away down here until it's all too late. I heard one of the guards talking about some sort of plan to raid Amada and the rest of us. I didn't hear anything else, but I think he read it on the security terminal. So maybe you can find more there. I'm sure it's bad news for us all. It was pretty rough, I'll tell you. I know a lot of folks blame your dad, but I know he didn't mean to cause all that. Don't blame him or yourself. Watch yourself down here. Well, I see you've returned. Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. That would be where you're wrong, young man. By locking down this vault, I'm protecting its future. In fact, I was protecting its future when I had to make those unpleasant choices the night you and your father abandoned us. I only wish I could have stopped your father before he left. If anyone's to blame for the unpleasantness, it's him. I've spent many nights asking myself exactly that. He certainly didn't tell me before he left. I blame myself, really. 
I should have known better than to let him enter our home in the first place. He certainly showed his true colors in the end. Were he raised in the cleanliness of our vault, perhaps your father would have shown more dedication to the important things in life. Just as well that he left. We mustn't let humanity's last pure specimens be sullied with his type. No, but he didn't risk bringing you out into it, either. You have to wonder, is that why he left you behind? He wanted to know you were someplace safe? And then, like a fool, you squandered the greatest gift he ever left you. They have to understand that we did that to keep them from going outside and getting killed. To keep them from making the same mistake our generation did when we were their age. Some of us already lost loved ones out there long ago. We won't lose any more today. To fix what you started? Go ahead and humor me. Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how better to protect this vault? Damn it! I told them I won't let this degenerate into violence again. The vault simply can't take the instability anymore. But maybe you're right. They simply can't stand the pressure anymore. And now the purity and perfection of my vault is crumbling all around me. I admit... In the two hundred years since the war, our numbers have dwindled a little. But we have enough genetic diversity for a few more generations. My God, you're right. We won't last another hundred years, whether or not we get supplies from the outside. We're the last bastion of pure humanity, and we're doomed. <laughs> I wish I could share your optimism, but I suppose you have a point— in your blathering way, my way won't save our vault's mission. But if I let them contact the outside world, I might be able to save its inhabitants. But I'm not the one to lead them in that. I'm stepping down as overseer. I'll tell Amata that I can think of no more appropriate leader than she. Amata, everyone, listen closely. After a discussion with your friend, I've made an important decision. In my attempts to keep us all safe, I have been, perhaps, overzealous. Lives have been lost, but perhaps worse than that, lives have been stopped. And in my attempts to keep you safe, I have kept you from growing up. I know I have made these mistakes, and I would make them again if I had to do so. That is why I cannot remain your overseer. Father! Amata, I appoint you overseer in my place. You've proven you have what it takes to make hard choices for the good of the vaults. I'm just sorry I didn't understand that earlier. Consider it one of many mistakes I've made. Thank you, Father. I'll do my best to keep us all safe inside the vault and beyond. You're welcome, my dear. And now, if you'll excuse me, I feel quite worn down. We'll deal with the details soon, in private. Until then, I'm sure there are people waiting to congratulate you. Good Hello. to see you. I never thought you'd be back. I... I just heard. My father says he's stepping down as overseer. He won't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you said to him. You and him? Civil? I expected you to change out in the wasteland, but not that much. But I guess we'll all be learning a bit about the outside now, won't we? As a new overseer, I'm planning on opening the vault. This time, for good. It's a bright new day for the vault, but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change. I know you are. And on behalf of the vault, I thank you for all you've done. But there are still many who blame you for everything that happened. So I have to ask you to leave. 
I'm sorry, but the situation is just too delicate for you to stay. Please, if you really want to help the vault, you have to go. We can never really thank you enough for everything you've done. It's not much, but take this with you to remember us by. It'll be a while before we're actually ready to go outside. But once the vault is stable again, maybe we'll see you out there. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. But with luck, we'll meet again. Goodbye. We'll miss you. Goodbye. We'll miss you. Goodbye. We'll miss you. Goodbye. We'll miss you. Sorry to see you go. Goodbye. We'll miss you. Goodbye. We'll miss you. Evening. It's a shame you gotta go, but you'll do okay out there, I'm sure. Thank <laughs> you.